I feel now that my, my nightmare is over. My dad is... My dad is smiling down on us right now. I, I have to forgive her. I really do. It's, it's just the right thing to do. Obviously, she wasn't well. To get any inner peace from the whole thing, I have to forgive her, or I'll never find inner peace. You know, she said she was sorry, but sorry's too late, it's already done. And there's no taking back what she did, and I don't think she's really sorry. I think she was trying to get the sympathy of the court. It wasn't rash, it wasn't, it wasn't spur of the moment, it was thought out, it was calculated. I stared her in the face. I. I looked at her in the eyes multiple times, in her dead, cold eyes multiple times when I was speaking and when I was calling her a murderer and she didn't even blink. She didn't show any emotion today. It was crap. It was, she's trying to make amends for something that you can't make amends for, something that you calculated, something that you did. You can't just say, sorry doesn't cut it, sorry doesn't cover it up for me. Hopefully, hopefully her conscience just becomes her prison and I hope she rots in it. I You're really satisfied? do. The tragedy of the whole thing is that uh, this should never have happened. There's, she reached out for help so many times and nobody responded until she went to CAMH. Ms. Wettloffer had uncontrolled access to her murder weapon of choice. And that's not something that, that should be allowed because it, it means that more nurses, more personal care workers in long-term care facilities could potentially commit the same crime.